See I and see. This duty Recept Sup now cap go please oh. I'm a well This is a stupid idea. You're the Priscilla. Are deep. Horse was carrying a heavy load. Calm down, Roach. Just bees.
one right. Oh, but what? started limping. Is it? You tell me. There are no ah. mm. True. Where's the right, we do mm. on? Thanks. How can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. It's not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. But to bring you met like a slut then you realize. Yes, but I also realize you won't. My choice is worth nothing to you. Whereas a lie, like I said, a hundred gold data. One hundred gold data. No more, no less. You can have a lot of Very wise. Might not be more than Sergeant today, but tomorrow. Quiet. Stop the nation. What? No, 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 you see. Me and Jack, we don't. No, we see where we're wrong. You kind of shit. Dan, see it. When we were.
what an adventure. Yeah. Dave. About you have any you you well hey something no huh. what a huh Sir. could I get what what's up no one you're kidding no doesn't you Carol, sure. Right. She's talk. Doubt it. And you so scared. You turn on. Well, we have. I'm sure. Oh.
Show me what you got. No fish, you must get him. They just the up. No cut against you. Just get up. See, help me. So the up is most of the three come. Shall not till now. Most of the family too. You cannot. So you they must be ready to. Ah, quick. Then. Oh, it has a lot of really good mechanics and stuff like that. So anyway, we're going to uh, set off like that with Roach, and uh, then we are going to fight the giant. Now I haven't redone my skills just yet, which I could have done to be perfectly honest, um, but I'll have to try it without. And see how it goes. So it might take a little while to actually load this bit, but we'll see how we go. So yeah, uh, I haven't redone my skills just yet, so uh, I would have to do that before doing the turn and face of strange. I did actually mean to do it before fighting Goliath, um, to see if deadly precision worked on him as well, um, and to have the ability to fire twice and to have undying with the. Um, adrenaline build skill as well but for now we'll just have to see how it goes I'm sure we'll be fine and uh, like I say we're just going to try and use the crossbow to trigger deadly precision for when we're fighting those two guardians and see what's going on and uh, then if not we'll just have to try and keep Quinn up and be dodging about and all that kind of stuff so we'll see how it goes might be possible should be doable really uh, so it'll cost me 1,000 crowns to uh, re-respec my uh, use a potion of clearance and respec all of my points, and that'll cost me another 1,000 crowns afterwards when I've got mutations to either put them back to how they were or to uh, redistribute them using the mutations as well. So I'll, I'll have access to like either magic sensibilities or piercing cold, toxic blood, any of those. So that might be interesting. I'll probably not go for... Um, I think it's Deadly Counter, I'll probably not do that one because as useful as it can be um, it would take greater red mutagens and you really don't have a lot of those so I'm just going to skip these opening bits and then we'll have to fight Goliat and i um, just going to prepare a little bit Sign Intensity doesn't matter but um, having the Echidna Decoction uh, will a little bit it shouldn't really make a difference. I mean, if he hits me, I'm going to die anyway. Um, so, none of the rest of them are particularly useful in this um, in this actual scenario. So, uh, I'll just stick to using the potions on top of that and the ancient lashing decoction, and uh, then just obviously the crossbow. So, so um, you've got to use the crossbow. And try and hit him in the visor. Um, so I have to get to dodging. And this is where it would be useful if I actually had the um, uh, the skill for the double shot because it would make this easier. But you got to try and hit him in the visor. But you can just keep your distance and keep Quinn up, so as long as he doesn't actually hit you. 
Uh, that's the ridiculous thing about Quen is it always takes one uh, shot no matter what. And there you go. You can kill him in one shot. So that's why it's really uh, interesting. Uh, you can start Blood and Wine as early as you want because you can just kill him like that. And that will get you a really, really high level sword that you can't use yet. But it also gets you a greater red mutagen as far as I'm aware. You'll always get one from him, which is really useful as well. So, okay. So we grab all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Skip through, and then we've got all that. So I'm not going to be actually um, carrying on. The, one of the other things you could do is get the uh, Skelliger deck, which is fun. So yeah, great red mutagen. It's worth doing almost just for that. You get a bunch of crowns as well. And a really the high level sword that you can't use, but that's not a big deal. So I'm just going to grab all of this stuff. Trusty crossbow, pretty much the only things it's useful for. Flying enemies, and you can kill giants like that if you want. Right, so there's a bunch of stuff we can do in Toussaint now we're here. So I'm going to just get on and do with that as well. Get some Briania and stuff. And there's always a bunch of stuff you can get here. More stuff to sell, more stuff to collect, all that kind of thing. Now I'm not actually going to uh, do the main quests. I'm just going to um, go straight on from those. <coughs> and uh, instead do a couple other things while we're in Toussaint. So there's a, a bunch of good stuff you can do here. And uh, first of all, I'm going to visit the perfumery merchant and the Grandmaster Swordsmith. Which is really good. Alright, so we get the Cockatrice in here and that's where I'm going to leave him instead of carrying on with the actual quest. I'm just going to uh, grab the things from the notice board and then carry on to Toussaint. So we get a bunch of quests there as well. And then we want to uh, head into the actual uh, town or city itself. There's also a couple of places of power that you can get. And some of them are relatively unguarded, so I'm going to head here first. And then do turn and face the strange. The first time you go into town, a young boy comes skipping up with a uh, notice for you. And you always went, went, always make sure that you uh, pay him uh, the five crowns when it gives you the option because that demonstrates your generosity, which is very useful. And um, Because that's one of the things that you need uh, to get Arendite. You have Arendite, you have to have the uh, five chivalric virtues and there are <clears throat> many chances to display them throughout Blood and Wine. Um, but it does make sense to try and uh, get the the uh, ones that are slightly rarer as soon as possible. So there are ones like um, wisdom, where you and generosity, where you get a couple. Le you, there are only a few chances to de demonstrate wisdom. Um, so you have to make sure you either win the Gwent tournament, which can be quite tricky if you don't know how to use the uh, Skellige deck and things like that, or you have to demonstrate wisdom other ways. <laughs> And um, the easiest way to get generosity is just to give the five, five crowns to the young tyke when he drops the letter off. So make sure you do that. So we can't um, gallop on Roach whilst we're in the actual uh, city. So I'm just going to be running instead. There is loads to do in Toussaint because obviously it's a whole enormous DLC by itself. Um, but I'll leave most of it even when I'm visiting early. Okay. So when this kid comes up, tip him. Now normally this is from whichever woman, uh, whichever of the sorceresses that you romanced. Um, but if you haven't romanced any, either of them yet, then it's just your friend Yennefer instead of dearest Yen, which is interesting. So that's the turn and face the strange, <coughs> and that's the quest that we're going to be doing. There's a couple of other things that you can do while you're here as well, so you just grab all the notice boards and everything else. This someone needs an escort. 
That's something I do often. Including the uh, Grandmaster armor. So, just need to find where the perfumery guy is first because um, that's extremely useful. I think he's yeah just off the square here. I'm gonna try and get this stuff. You can also, like I say, get the Skelliger deck as well. And he has a bunch of useful stuff available too. So he's got all the decoctions and other stuff that you might be missing. You can buy Superior Northern Wind because you very rarely actually find that one. And you can buy uh, any of these as well, so all these Superior ones, and they're only 71 each. So the ones that I'm actually, uh, you know, likely to use, I will probably buy some of these. So, Superior Golden Oriole is really good. White Rafford's very good. Um, get the White Honeys. Thunderbolt, Tawny Owl's the main one that I want, really. And the uh, Maribor. So I'll buy those. I could come back here for the others if I wanted as well. And then you can buy these muted generator ones, but you don't need those just yet. So, Okay, now let's see what I need to be able to make those. So I could make Draconid oil if I wanted, but I'm not quite there yet. So you see here, all I'm missing there is a Kebrith for a Handman's Venom, um, so I can make that. And Rubedo, so I need a Kebrith and a Rubedo. And uh, maybe a Hydrangeum. Make Enhance White Honey, no problem. I just need white gold for that. So you can buy all of this stuff and then just uh, make the white gold and then you'll be uh, able to use those so that's really useful. And you can buy this stuff from him as well. So instead of having to make the white gold from scratch uh, you can just buy a lot of it from uh, this guy so it's uh, very useful. And I'll come back and uh, buy some of this other stuff in a minute. So I'll just buy a couple of these each. Because I don't really need all this money for much else. I need a little bit less than usual anyway because, you know, I'm making armor and everything, so... I'm not making armor, rather, so... Now, what do I need for white gull? It's cherry cordial, I think, Redanian herbal, something like that. And then arenaria, so mandrake cordial, cherry cordial. Cherry and mandrake. Let's get some of those. I think he has quite expensive prices and he doesn't really give the best prices for stuff, so I should have bought some of these earlier, but never mind. You can buy this stuff cheaper in the uh, regular game, but I'll just buy some here while I'm making them. This is another reason that Arenaria is important, so you should always pick up Arenaria when you can. Right, so let's see what we can make now. First things first, I always want Superior Tawny. Superior Maribor. I've got one white gold left, so... Make some of these Superior Bombs. <clears throat> and they don't need white gold, so I can just make as many of those as I want, I think. Need no spice to make the dragon's dream, so I'll just leave that for now. I can make hangman's venom and beast oil and insect oil. Uh, 
I don't have the uh, superior necrophage one yet, and uh, that's a really good one as well, so I might just get that while I'm here. Because he'll have those for sale as well. <coughs> now, normally, obviously, this guy is mainly for... Um, uh, this guy is mainly for catching up on stuff that you've missed throughout the regular game when you reach the DLCs, but if you come here early, then you can use him to get all this stuff early instead. So, got the uh, main oils that I'll be using now as well. And I've got white honey and I've got one more white gold, so I'll use that for superior thunderbolt. I'll make the superior white honey later. I've got a bunch of useful stuff there. And any time I want now, I can come back and um, buy from this guy and just fast travel to Tucson. Uh, which is very useful. Right, now we're just going to go and try and do turn and face the strange and see if I can manage that. There are a couple other useful things you can do in Tucson, like um, you can go to the Master Armorer and talk to him, but also they give really great prices for stuff as well. So I'll go and do that. And then uh, as soon as you have access to him, um, then you can come back here and sell stuff to him as well. So, I'll deal with him first. Okay, so just going to sell these uh, high level swords, Matt, as well. And he gives really good prices for things as well. So you see here, lesser triglav, he gives even higher prices than the um, the guys in uh, the regular game. So I can sell a bunch of these to him as well. Don't really need to keep these, so I'm not sure why I'm not selling all of them, but you certainly could do if you wanted. And that's a good little source of income. And he, you can buy these uh, Tucson armors as well if you want to use some of those. Although I'm not making any use of them at the minute. Also going to buy the Beauclair saddlebags just to increase my capacity a little bit. And you can sell things to him as well. If you want to sell trophies and stuff like that, you can sell those to him. And also dismantle things too. So you want to dismantle stuff that's silver and all that kind of thing. Uh, with these guys because you get more from them. Okay. Now the stream's not actually coming through on my phone so hopefully it is still working but we'll find out. So go through all this stuff just get these quests uh, for later as well. Skip through all these and carry on. These Grand Master Armors are really great as well so when you get used to them they're uh, really super. Okay so that's him and now he's available to buy things from us as well. We've got this alchemist here who I believe gives pretty good prices for stuff, so if you need more money you can speak to her and sell things to her as well. But she uh, sells things for the same price as the other guy, so it's not really a big deal. But you can buy things from her as well. She gives good prices for things there, so she can uh, sit buy a couple of necrophage hides and make some money that way as well. Okay, so turn and face the strange. Hmm, 
hope this episode comes through okay because like I say it's just not um, showing correctly so see if I can do this uh, quest and then we'll go from there So this is the grave we want, which is Moreau. Make sure we uh, avoid these necrophages. Because they will kill you. Right, so now you got to go to your inventory and check this stuff. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'm going to ride Roach, make sure we avoid all the uh, enemies because we really don't want any of them. Everything being many, many, many levels higher than us. And obviously us being on a no armor playthrough. Come on, Roach. It's taking her time for some reason. See if she'll gallop now. It does weird things with Roach sometimes, as I'm sure everybody's well aware. Yeah, she just won't gallop, which is annoying. She will do after I reload, probably. It does weird things like that. That might be potentially difficult if I need to get away from enemies, which I probably will do at some point. Because everything here is, like say, level 35+. plus. And those are Arcaspores, so that's uh, definitely a problem. Oh well, at least you'll start running now. Oh, did that scare you, Roach? At least you got moving. How strange. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway. That seems to have uh, jolted Roach to her senses, so we can avoid all this stuff here. I just realised I really needed the uh, Superior Golden Oriole, which I don't think I actually bought. But I have the Enhanced one, which still stops you getting poisoned, so it should be okay. Yeah. Oh well, we'll see. Can always start again if needed. We've got to avoid these things and swim down. You can normally do it actually avoiding the drowners if you can stay away from them. Right, let's try this. and his hatred of portals. Quite a few, Geralt. Quite a few. Okay, so we're just going to make our way down. And then see how we go.
Don't marry Suminga, always worth having. Okay, so we've got all this stuff. Um, need to make our way, I think, down. Right, so here is where we're going to have to change things about, so... So we're going to heal up first. And this is where we're going to try and change things about. So, we need the Potion of Clearance, first of all. To reset our skills. And we're going to get the skills that we want, so... Want to slow down time with the crossbow. And we might as well have muscle memory as well. We definitely want undying. Uh, Fleet-footed would probably be an advantage as well. And we need another two points somewhere, so... Maybe adrenaline from the bolts, just in case. One point in Razor Focus. I oh, will need the points to unlock the third level anyway, so we'll just go with that. And we've got Whirl, so we can deal a lot of hits quickly and try and use that. And Deadly Precision is the main one that we want, so... Now we have two slots left. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to have Adrenaline Burst and Trick Shot. Okay, let's see how this works. Probably could have done with Gourmet as well, maybe. In case I do take damage. But we need to put that on somewhere else, so... We'll equip that afterwards, before we actually go into the battle. Okay, let's see how this goes. Not like the beast door is going to make much of a difference, but just in case. We want to keep our adrenaline up. Damage isn't really going to make a difference. Alright. And then we'll want the... Uh, Northern Wind as well, just so we can try and freeze them if that works. I'm not sure if it does or not, but it may do. And then the other bombs, uh, so that we can... Try and hit them with those, because bombs and arrows can both uh, do deadly precision as well. So, let's try this. Is there anything I'm missing? I don't think so. Now we've got the superior tawny owl which lasts all e all night if you use it at night. So we're just going to use that first and let the toxicity die off. And then we're going to build up our adrenaline by repeatedly using uh, that skill. So you see every time I'm using um, a sign, even though it's out of combat, it's building up my adrenaline. So I can get to full adrenaline before we have anything else like that. Got the toxicity dying off there, but you can see that the toxicity's run out, but 
superior Torneal is still effective and that's <coughs> the incredible thing about that potion and then right there we have got um, the full adrenaline bar as well and then we'll try and get it to auto save and then we'll uh, try this so that we can just come back here with it all set up if needed Right, so we can shoot twice now. And it'll also slow down time. So we're going to get Quen on and then see how we go. And then just a. Uh, ooh, well, that was dangerous. Now, this is why it's incredibly tricky. So this may take me a little while. But, in theory, you can hit these things with deadly precision, I believe. So I'm led to believe. So if I get enough hits in quickly with the crossbow and will, I should be able to kill one of them. And then uh, use the others just to keep going up. Use fleet footed to keep dodging. But it might take a severe amount of patience, so we'll have to see how it goes. Far from easy. And obviously the uh, slight problem that we do have with this is that um, just there are two of them at once, which is what I found really difficult last time. Now I did manage to actually do it with the Arch Griffin decoction and uh, take these things down last time, but I'm trying it with Deadly Precision here, so we'll have to see. And weirdly Undying didn't save me as well, so unless they did so much health that they just killed me twice. Which actually, yeah, sounds about right. They probably can do that. Yeah, if they do so much... I wonder if they do so much damage that Undying gives you all your health back. But it just takes it straight away again because it did so much damage. Possibility. Let's try that again. Try and hit one with Will, first of all. Whoa! Yeah, so again, just hit me through Quen. This might not be possible, but we can try. I think to save this stream from being just like a ton of loading screens, I'll just try a couple more times. And uh, then just cut the episode short and try it off stream. And if I'm not able to do it, I'll just uh, start again with a new episode. So yeah, in, I was planning on trying to uh, do well, get a few hits in like that. Uh, and hopefully that would stop them, but proven pretty difficult so far. And they uh, sort of seem to hit me twice there as well. And Undying is not doing much good. But we'll see. Hmm. So yeah, this may be a step too far. I did think that it would be extremely difficult and maybe not possible, but... You have a, I think it's, what, a 4 or 6% chance to kill them at max adrenaline. So if you get lucky right away with the first one, then it's just fighting one of them, and it's just finding the time to repeatedly hit it again. What's the chances with... 2% chance of killing an opponent instantly for every adrenaline point, so yeah, 6% chance. So now just keep dodging around, dodging these, dodging these. The uh, reloading of the crossbow is a bit difficult, but... 
wonder if I can get Erden down and then stop them like that. Uh oh. Let's take the odd uh, shot at them here and just as long as I'm dodging with fleet footed I should be okay. So I just keep dodging until I can get Quen back up. Ah, they hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think that this is going to take an extremely long time, so I'll cut the uh, episode of the stream short there, and I'll pick it up as a uh, new episode when I've either given up on this or be able to complete it. Um, so please uh, leave a like if you're watching on YouTube, and um, help me out by like, comments, and subscribes, and all that good happy stuff, and I will be back with the next episode when I've made a decision on this. So thank you very much for watching, and have a good day on the path.